Hey, what's going on, everybody? Exhausted Gaming here, bringing you a review today. Today, we're going to be reviewing Titanfall from the PC. Um, I've recently played Titanfall for the PC as well as the Xbox One, and I'm here to share my opinion, my overview, my overview, and my insight on the game. Um, I got it last week, as you as you can see. Check my channel. I did the uh, Collector's Edition un unboxing. Well about a week and a half ago or whatever it was on the 11th and I did the unboxing for the collector's edition on PC um, I've recently acquired a Xbox one and I've been using it thanks to one of my friends and I've played it on the Xbox 360 as well so I'm here to give you my my opinion on both as I see it um, we start off with this game this game is basically the uprising of the new development group respawn entertainment they're from the you know a couple members from the um call of duty 2 series i think it is that basically was one of the best call of duty two call of duty games created for you know basically platforms in general including pc um these guys have done it again I'm, I'm here to say that I'm happy with the balance in the game and um, Titanfall actually gives me as a gamer a breath of fresh air when it comes to gameplay variety in it and it's able to give you a a sense of creativity so to speak so you it's not a linear format you're just running around and stuff like that you can run off the walls you can hang off the walls you know you can be on the rooftops you can be run on the ground you know it's so many ways to play this game and come up with with your own play style and that includes you loading up you know having your weapon set up as well so whatever suits your play style you're pretty much able to set it up with your pilot including your titan as well so as we look here as i play this game right here you know i'm i'm i've i try to vary my gameplay from the rooftop to the ground you know try to try not to be you know predictable in a sense because you see a lot of players that you know are predictable and you can always pick up and find where they are um this game right here this gameplay right here is coming from the pc i'm running it on max settings and um I'm run, I'm using I'm actually using a controller and I've actually been happy with using a controller. I've played with the keyboard and mouse as well. It's been fun, but uh, with the controller, it's kind of it's an easy conversion between the controller from PC to the Xbox One with no problem since I've been playing both. And um, the graphics on the PC are, as you would expect, they're superior of the. Uh, no, I'm sorry if I said 360. They're superior of the Xbox One you know in in all means and and of course when it comes to the graphics and the gameplay and everything like that you will see you will see that the servers are a little more stable on PC probably more so because that they don't have as many players on the PC servers as the Xbox one servers but you know it, you know it's to each his own but I, I, I really found this game very enjoyable the storyline really didn't catch me you know you kind of catch yourself listening to it in and out of the storyline it's just a multiplayer game with 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 some commentary if you ask me you know but you know it, it serves its purpose it, they give you a reason to play it because you have to unlock the strider titan and you have to unlock the um uh, it, the ogre titan as well so you know that that you know gives you you know give you give, gives you an incentive to play the play the um play the campaign twice you know so to speak so you can unlock those two titans but after you play the campaign twice and you unlock those two titans you really don't have a reason to go back to the campaign again unless you're just running around playing with a friend and helping them through the campaign but there's it's pretty much a single player gameplay it's just pretty much a multiplayer game with single player narrative over it but um uh, as i played the xbox one i noticed you know the just the graphical difference as you all know the xbox one version is running at 792p um you do see some jaggies in there and you do see you know it's just you know you can tell that it's you know it's it's a next generation game about for all intents and purposes but you can definitely see the graphical difference between the pc and the xbox one 
So um, the one thing I do not like about the PC is that you have to hold down Z to um, communicate with players and stuff like that and it, it's very very inconvenient they do not have open mic I'm quite sure there's a way you can map a key on your keyboard or something like that so you can permanently open your mic while you're playing but it, it's really not worth it when it comes to it because you have all the other players on there that probably playing with mouse and keyboard or just don't feel like mapping their keys and they're not they're not really talking that much, but on the Xbox One, I, I do find the gameplay more enjoyable just because you have your friends that you can, um, your friends that you can play with and everything like that. And you know, I played Xbox for a very long time. I got a thirty-five thousand plus gamer score on there, so I've played it ever since the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty came out. And I gave it up a couple of years ago, but I see a lot of my friends that like, you know, they're hardcore Xbox fans, but. You know, haven't played the amount of games I have played, so I'm just trying to prove the point that I am a gamer and that I I do play multiple platforms and I do play a variety of games, and um, I do like the Xbox One experience better than the PC when it comes to playing multiplayer with your friends and everything like that. But if you just want to sit back, relax, and don't want to talk to anyone. The PC is the way to go, obviously, if you have the rig, you know, which this game isn't requiring much because it's running off of the Source engine. And that's, the, you know, that, that engine is, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty fairly aged engine, but Respawn somehow, some way figured out how to take that engine and tap into its power, I'm quite sure, with the help of the developers of that engine and to pull the most out of it as possible. Um, like I said... This game is it's is definitely a go. It's it's a platform seller for the Xbox One most definitely. But I do not see this this game carrying on to the next iteration of it as Titanfall Two comes around the corner probably around twenty sixteen or late twenty fifteen. I do not see that as being Microsoft exclusive to PC and the Xbox One because I think Respawn now they see what you, they see they missed the gravy train, so to speak, and that this game will really make them some money. And this is a true Call of Duty killer for all intents and purposes because it offers that variety of gameplay. And you're familiar with the gameplay because it's from the makers of Call of Duty as well. So you will get your full value out of this game. And then the way with the, um, with the cards and everything like that, you're not... You're not stuck with players running around using one perk as you would see in Call of Duty. And, you you know, people run around using one perk and you're kind of pissed off, so to speak, because, you know, they, they're running around basically invincible. These The option to use the cards are very, very good because it makes you think about when you want to use them and how you want to use them. And you do not overuse one ability and you get a variety out of your gameplay and you have to work towards getting a certain card. So, but between the Titans and between switching from Titan and to Pilot, you definitely, definitely get the same gameplay, but with the different aspects of your loadouts and what you need to do. So, if you figure out your playing style, you're definitely, definitely going to be a winner in this game, and you, 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 you will definitely have a lot of fun. I've sat up here and played this game for hours on both cons on both platforms, PC and Xbox One, and I'm I'm happy. I'm I'm very happy with the with the uh, with the outcome. You know, and you know, as you see here, I'm battling back and forth with this one guy. We are both running around with the little snipers for the mechs, as you can say, as you can see, and you know, we're just going. And my favorite move is doing the just to you know, basically, I call it busting out early on them eject on them and just let the nuke take care of the rest and as you see right here i'm probably going to slow this out in the video edit i threw a c4 charge down just to finish up the business and keep it moving so it's definitely that's the type of variety of gameplay i'm talking about that's what you get when you play titanfall and you no one person can dominate the game with one certain perk you pick what you want, you pick your loadout, and everybody is on an even playing field. It just depends on your skill level. You know what I'm saying? So, um, 
I definitely recommend picking this thing up for your PC or your Xbox One if you have either or system. It, it can run on reasonably low specs on the Xbox One. And, um, I mean on the PC and then it can run you know runs perfectly on the Xbox one as well you know I've been pleased with the Xbox one too as I've been playing with it for about two weeks now and I'm you know I'm more than happy to say I will be getting my own personal Xbox one in the near near future because I just I, I like the system and what it has to offer and just to, you know sometimes it's very very convenient to do certain things when it comes to multimedia functions but you know Expect this game to be on <laughs> PS4, all platforms next year, uh, you know, well, in, with the next generation and probably within 2016. And everybody across the gaming universe will be able to enjoy this game. So big shouts out to Respawn Entertainment for giving us a breath of fresh air in the gaming community and giving us something to talk about, troll about, whatever your flavor of, you know, commentary you like to put out there. And... Um, I'll catch you on the battlefield. My gamer tag on Origin on the PC is going to be Exhausted1918. That's with an X. And Exhausted is going to be Exhausted on the um, Xbox One as well. So I'll link all that stuff in the description below. And maybe you guys can hit me up and just, you know, we can play a couple games on Titanfall on either platform and let me know what you think. So I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know what your thoughts are on the game as well. Exhausted Gamer here, repping the couch jockeys. Y'all take care. Peace. On the frontier today, the IMC's port of Demeter was attacked by militia insurgents. Reports are sketchy, but indications are that the refueling facilities sustained major damage in the battle. Numerous casualties are indicated including the mutineer James McAllen, formerly believed missing in action. High command in the IMC... Adios, my friend. The whereabouts of several high-ranking officers involved in the conflict, including Vice Admiral Marcus Graves, is presently unknown. Ah!